right, so we are going to talk about building a wall. You shouldn't build walls, you should just let people in. <coughs> oh, for showing your art. Yeah, build a wall for showing your art. But don't build a wall around your art because then your art's life will suffer. Bobby's tips for artists because he loves you. Hola, you amazing artist. So a bunch of you saw my video on something. What was that video on? So some of you saw my video on setting up for a festival and saw that I build my own walls and I said that I would do a tutorial. I found out that I'm very bad at doing tutorials, so bear with me because this was my version of a tutorial. So let's get started, shall we? So one of the first things that I do that I did not film is actually build a frame. Essentially it's the same thing as you do with like stretcher bars for a canvas except I use one by two uh, eight foot pieces of wood and then I cut them to shape and I do a frame with L brackets. The one thing I can tell you is that before you get started on doing any woodwork or anything, make sure that you pre-drill your holes so that the screws don't split the wood when they go in. Because then the structural integrity of your walls will not be what they need to be. Not to mention your moral integrity will fall apart. I don't know what she's talking about. talking about morale, Holmes. <laughs> so for any of you that have stretched a piece of canvas before, it's pretty much the same thing. If you've never stretched canvas before, well, this is going to be your opportunity to do something that is like stretching canvas. So what I use for my walls, which has always been very durable and it works perfectly, is shade cloth. Shade cloth you could buy in rolls at Home Depot or Lowe's or any kind of construction store. You could also find them online. Just Google shade cloth and you should be able to find it. So I'll cut a strip of shade cloth that I could stretch over my 1x2 wall things. I told you I was not any good at tutorials. It's a highly technical video. Yeah, highly technical. Stretch them over the wall things and then uh, pin this sucker over here to the right side of this. Mamba jamba. So essentially what you're doing is you're going to get a, st a staple gun. Get a staple gun. Don't use like a regular stapler. Get a staple gun and staple your shade cloth, stretching it over the stretcher bars. So essentially you're using the frame that you built out of one by twos as stretcher bars. Once I have it stretched in the area that I want, for aesthetic reasons, what I do is I get a piece of the very thin, I think quarter inch oak plywood, and I'll cut that into strips where I could cover the area that I staple. And then what I do is I drill it in, and I drill it in approximately every five inches or so, so it goes all the way across. After I've got it in, I'll grab an knife and cut the excess shade cloth off of there and voila you've got a wall this is one of the smaller walls that I've built I have actually built bigger walls and I'll show those to you so these walls you could basically build uh, to whatever size you want so I'm going to show you some of the big walls that I have set up here so you can see that right there tall it is and these fold up the same way as the other ones do they're just slightly thicker a little bit more but it's pretty much the same thing you just stretch the shade cloth on there and this these walls are actually about eight years old so they hold up really really well keep in mind when you're designing your wall that you do have to transport this so keep in mind the size of your car where you're gonna put it how it's gonna fold up so what i use to hang my paintings on the shade cloth are drapery hooks as you can see this drapery hook just slides right in and then i'm able to hook my paintings onto the shade cloth i am able to build these whatever size i need they are not very heavy but they are durable enough it's really cool because it lets air in on windy days though you do have to maybe put something behind it to block the air from going through it um but they're lightweight they're easy to handle and they're very easy to put up they look just lovely i must add they do they do look lovely you can essentially build them whatever size you want. I also have another design that I do that I'll show you guys at some point that rolls up and it hangs at the top. I'll show you guys in a different video at some time. I need to build one of those soon here, probably in February or March. And when I do, I'll show you guys if you want to see it. But yeah, that's it. 
that's how I build my walls and really easy, really inexpensive compared to a lot of the pricing out there for art walls, which is ridiculous. Yeah, they want your firstborn for art walls. Uh, yes, they do. If you guys have any questions about anything that I might have missed to describe, because this I know is possibly the greatest tutorial video that you've ever watched in your life. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> Just leave them in the comments section below. And if you guys have any tips on any walls or any kind of display items that you use for your booth, just leave them in the comments section as well. I'd love to hear them. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. You guys are absolutely freaking awesome. I totally adore you. And if you like this video and you want to watch more, just click right over here to subscribe. And that's it. Say goodbye, Clee. Good day. Adios.